Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, as well as technology cheat sheets, including the macOS reference and cheat sheet, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be talking about how to modify the dock on your Mac. And the dock is the row of icons that appears at the bottom of the screen. And you can, by clicking on an icon, it will open it up. Now let's say if I wanted to click on text edit and open that up, it would, it would open up instantaneously. Now there are things that you can do with with the dock. You can change the size of the icons, you can add icons and add applications and remove them, and you can also just change the location of the dock altogether. So I'm going to go over how to do those things. It's pretty easy, and let's get started. So first thing to know is that when you get your Mac, there will be some apps that are installed there by default, and most of them you can remove if you don't want them. It's pretty easy to do that. So let's say that on my Mac, I noticed that the App Store is here, but I just don't like to use it that much. I can kind of click it once and hold down and then just move it off. Whoops. I can move it off and by dragging it off kind of into the middle of the desktop, it disappears. It's not deleted. It's actually still there. It's just in another folder. And the reason why you might do that is because you don't really use that particular application that often or you just want to access it from another point or maybe you want to add stuff here. So let's talk about how to add an icon, an app icon, to your dock. And basically what you need to do is to go to Finder. Finder is this guy right here. It's always on your dock. You can't remove it. Click on it and then open up the Applications folder on the left. And here are all the all or most of the applications that are available to you. So like, let's say that I wanted to add a, um, let's see here. Okay, Sigil. This is an app that I use for my business. I want to, I use it all the time, so I want to put it on the dock. So I click it once, and then I hold it down, and I just drag it over here, put it wherever I want on the dock. So let's say I wanted to put it right here. It would appear there. Now, note that I didn't move it from the Applications folder. It basically just made like a shortcut from the dock. So whenever I click on it, it'll start bouncing up and down and it will open up the application in a minute. Sometimes it might take a long, it will it, it take a long time. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna prompt me to do something. I don't wanna get into that right now, so let's just skip that. If I change my mind, I wanna move it away. Oh, it did, it did open it up, okay. But if I change my mind and I wanted to move it off the dock, all, all I would do is just kind of grab it with my mouse, move it to the end, and it's gone. It's not deleted from the Mac, it's still there. I can move it back later if I want to, but it's gone from the dock. In fact, you can go through and remove lots of stuff that you're not using. And one other thing to mention about the dock, these dots down here, this means that the application is open. So I have uh, three applications here, plus the finder that's open. And then on the right side, you'll see a couple things that you cannot really can't remove, including uh, your downloads, that's always there, your trash. And then if you have an application that's open but minimized, that will show up here as well. So let's talk about how to change the positioning of the dock as well as other aspects of it. To do that, go to the Apple icon in the upper left corner, click on it, select System Preferences, and then from the options here, you'll see one of them is called Dock. So you just click on that once. So it shows you a bunch of options that you can use. And let's see if I can make it easy to see what's going on. So the first one is the size. There's a slider. So if you grab that slider and then move it to the right, you'll see the icons get bigger and then they get smaller. And the reason why you might want to do that is either if you need to see them more easily, but also if you have a lot of icons, you may want to reduce the size so you can uh, quick. So let's say I wanted to add another 20 applications to my dock. I could just start dragging them on and they would all be visible. And I've seen some people that have an enormous number of applications in their dock because they switch between them all the time and they want to have them visible. So let's keep it medium sized. The other thing you can do is you can change the magnification of the of the icons themselves when you hover over them. So if you'll notice when I hover over uh, an icon like the calendar, it gets a little bit bigger and it shows calendar. If I change the magnification like this, look what happens when I hover over it. It's gigantic. Okay, it's a little bit too gigantic. There's other options down here that you can deselect and select and you can play around with them as you want. Really the most other important one is changing the location. So I think the Mac by default 
the dock is set up on the bottom. But I found that if you're some in, in some applications, if you're typing, you might accidentally hover over these and click it by accident. So I like to put my dock on the right side, and that way I rarely ever have a problem of accidentally uh, selecting the dock. Left side, you can do that too. And again, the problem is if you're using certain applications and your mouse is hovering over here, you might accidentally turn on one of these things. But in any case, that's how to get the most out of the dock and to change the settings. For more information on how to get the most out of macOS, check out our cheat sheet available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.